And we continue to follow breaking news this morning where the Ever Forward is finally moving in the Chesapeake Bay after being stuck for five weeks. And we're going to send it straight up to Captain Roy and Sky Team 11. Third time was the charm, Captain Roy. Oh, yeah, I hear you. I mean, they had several things going for them. The winds were uh, in their favor yesterday when uh, they were still doing their dredging and offloading the uh, containers. And then today they had seven, seven tugboats that they used to pull it free. Once they got it freed, they ended up bringing it southbound on the bay, just south of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge to where there is a, if you want to call it a parking area, a mooring area for large vessels as they wait their turn to get up into the inner harbor. Now the Coast Guard is providing a security zone while they continue to transport this vessel into a spot down here south of the bay so that uh, they'll be able to uh, assess the situation, get a time slot for when they'll be able to get back up to Secret Marine Terminal and onload the containers that they had to offload in order to lighten the ship to free it. I don't know about being able to take on fuel and checking their ballast and whatnot, but right now there's five tugboats that are moving this vessel. And the way the winds are right now, it's actually assisting them in moving uh, the uh, ever forward southbound on the bay because the winds are pretty strong out of the northwest right now anywhere between 20 and 30 knots down here by the bay bridge well we've been monitoring the situation down here if you have any questions go ahead and shoot yeah i was gonna say we'll go you've ahead. been watching this whole ordeal unfold and what has it been like to see them offload these containers because they, they've offloaded hundreds of them i was shocked the way they were able to do that I mean, you look at Secret Marine Terminal and the type of cranes that they have to onload these vessels uh, with all these containers. And then they were very methodical, taking one container at a time, so to speak, and just putting it on a barge. And they didn't stack them on the barge. They only had uh, the containers level on the barge so that there was only uh, maybe a half dozen to a dozen containers that were on each barge as they were going back and forth and then they would take it up to the uh, marine terminal and they would offload it there and they have an area that they're storing it up there. But it was just, they had, you know, two cranes that they were working, sometimes three, to uh, get the uh, containers off the ship. And you can see how it's kind of piecemealed. You know, some places they didn't touch and other places they uh, offloaded quite a few. So I was gonna say, it still looks the like there's hundreds madness, still so. on there too. I mean, it, it oh, still yeah, looks like it's a still packed a lot. Ship. There's still a lot of containers here, that's for sure. But they'll have to take and get their, you know, paperwork in order as for what they unloaded, where it's at, and how to put it back in place on this ship. It's just amazing to watch the secret marine terminal in action, the way they were able to store the containers. But then when you take and put them on a ship, and they know each container, where it's at, what it contains, and where it's going. So. It's, it's just amazing to watch. And it has but been we're some We're almost operation. in the middle of the parking area down here, Jen, so shouldn't be too much longer. They'll be anchoring. All right, sounds good, Captain Roy. Thanks for covering it for us this morning. It sure is fascinating to see it moving once again in the bay.